Hi, I'm Pete, the developer of Ninchart, and this video is about the changes in the latest version, number 6.5. So, uh, let's take a look. Ninchart now uses an autosave function, which means that uh, when you're working on a document, every few minutes, a uh, copy is automatically saved to a secure location. You can change these settings uh, here on the main screen, and then if you scroll down to the autosave section here, you can also disable it or change the number of uh, minutes it takes to save a copy. So you can also like, for instance, change this to every five minutes mm -hmm. and you can change the number of uh, versions saved. So if you change this to five, it obviously takes up less uh, disk space because the oldest version is automatically deleted. Here's a link to the autosave folder at the bottom. You can always uh, safely delete everything in it because uh, these are just copies of, the, of your actual file. There's a new option to drop little info balloons onto your chart. So this could be little reminders to remember what kind of uh, edge you were working or what kind of bind off method you want to use, stuff like that. So for this, go to the object tool here at the bottom and then select the info button here and then tap anywhere to place it. So for instance, um, let's say slip free uh, Perl wise. You can move them around like any other object and change the color, stuff like that. Um, they will not appear in your exported PDF document and also not in your high resolution image. So they're just little reminders for yourself. There are some subtle changes into the tools. For instance, if you're working a color chart, you can tap and hold on a color. And then, for instance, swap it for another one right from your tools. So without opening the legend. When you're working with stitch symbols, you can also tap and hold on those uh, for extra options. For instance, changing the default des description or add them to your favorite uh, selection. The little info balloons I showed earlier, you can also put them on top of a PDF pattern you're following. So make sure the move tool is selected and then tap and hold anywhere on the file to place one. Enter your text here. For instance, uh, remember to uh, buy milk. If you want to change the color, for instance, or delete it, you can tap and hold on it again, and then select options, and then select delete or color here. If you like the marker style more, you can also change the style to marker, and then you just have this little dot to mark whatever stitch you're working, for instance. The last addition is uh, you can now use Knitting Chart together with your Apple Watch um, to control the row counters in the working mode and also when you're following a PDF pattern. But um, well, I'm still testing it out a little bit, but I think it should be ready when this video launches and otherwise uh, it will be ready soon. Okay, hope to see you next time. Bye.